Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Blana, and welcome to the last part in our series of Means of Achieving Depth in a Drawing. Now, today is the final of all of the seven methods. And today, you may be wondering why the screen is a different color than usual. And that reason is because today we are going to be diving into color and how different colors can create depth in a drawing. And more specifically, how different temperatures of colors can create depth in a drawing. So we're just gonna quickly show this with this blue background and then kind of almost a fireball flying through the sky. And the reason I'm doing this is because the background is gonna be a cool color and the fireball coming forward, it'll be like red and orange. And so it'll be very warm colors and warm colors tend to jump out. So just starting this off we're gonna it, it's not gonna be very finished or anything i just hope to kind of get the point across we'll kind of make it kind of ball shaped here some streaks going back there we go that's kind of our all the red coating that i wanted to get done it's perfect. Now we're going to go kind of a little bit into the orange side of things just to get a little bit more of a brighter color up here where just a little bit of that brighter flame would be. There we go. There's a good amount of kind of an orangey color. We'll just make that go back a little bit. That's perfect. And now we'll just add a little bit of yellow just up front here, just to give it kind of a little bit more of that kind of glow closer to the front. I'm just going to quickly blur this up just to kind of give it a little bit of a, just a little bit of a better overall uh, smoothness, I suppose. Not that that's really a word, or it is, I don't know. I'm not an English expert. So there we go. I think that looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna add a couple more uh, lines stroking through it, just to kind of add a little tiny bit, because I do like the blurriness, but I also think that I'm going to like a little bit of that, a little bit of these streaks running through. I think that'd look really nice. A Little bit of these. And there we go. I think that looks nice. And so just along with that background, you can really see how the warm colors jump forward. It makes it just look a little bit more three-dimensional, like it has just a little bit more depth in this drawing. So yeah, that is basically it for creating depth. Lots of ways you can create depth. You can use like overlapping perspective lines and shading or even color. But when combined, they can create something that is really, really special. Um, I really like using color just because it's a really just aesthetically pleasing. I do like sketching and doing all those sketchy lines quite often, but lots of the time I also like just adding tons of splotches of color, and I just think it makes the image look more complete. And so color, using temper different temperatures of color inside an image is a great way just to uh, make specific things jump out as there's that contrast, but also it creates that little bit of depth in your image that you might be needing. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, let me know what series you want me to do next, and I will see you in the next tutorial.